Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Sorry about that. Hi, folks. Hello. We are here for another trailer reaction, and it is for Halloween Kills. Scary, spooky. We enjoyed the other one that came out. The return of Jamie Lee Curtis again. Yeah, it was good. So let's see how this one does. So this was the ending of the other one. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, Michael. Bye-bye, Michael. This motherfucker survived this shit? God damn. Long time ago, shape. it was a night of great power. Am I losing my mind? People no. danced, and they played games, and they dressed up in costumes, hoping to ward off the evil spirits, especially the boogeyman. Spooky as fuck. Yeah, <laughs> that's the shape, dude. We did what needed to be done. Tommy Doyle, what are you doing? Oh shit! Tommy Doyle was a kid. Mm -hmm. Played by Ant Man in the fifth movie. Off your mask. I hope you bought a new one because that one should be burnt to shit. That looked good. Yeah, they're doing these movies good. I'm impressed. I like them all. I just happen to be biased, I guess. But these, the last one was great. I liked it a lot. This one looks really good. Yeah. Now the guy that getting to play Tommy Doyle, we know that actor too. He's been in tons of stuff. But if you remember in the fifth one, I think it's the fifth one. Tommy Doyle's played by the actor who plays Ant Man. Paul Rudd. I think so, yeah. Yeah. And I don't he know. saves uh Jimmy Lee's granddaughter. Right. And the daughter dies. That's the little girl from the fourth and fifth book. Or maybe oh it was the sixth one maybe with <laughs> I can't say I remember. Yeah, I've seen them all. Anyway, I liked it. It's excited me. I'm anticipating the next Halloween. I think we got another good movie, but this didn't give too much away. I didn't see Jamie much, did I? Yeah, they showed her a few Couple times. Few, right. It looks like they're going for a different setting, but I can't tell. Like Haddonfield, you know, is where it's supposed to take place. It felt like, like yeah, some some of the same areas. That mm -hmm. old, you know suburban country type neighborhood does it look like they're going after um the, any the same people immediately from the movie before does it look like a different person was the subject of his yeah threat right yeah then how does everybody get involved i don't know interesting i am definitely looking forward to halloween kills um, yeah it looks good I can go back to the beginning, you know, I'm a big fan. First Halloween is one of my favorites. And I will think the third one sucked with the mask and stuff. that had nothing to do with Michael. But I got to admit, I'm, I got interested in the storyline of the other ones where he had the tattoo and um, right. it had to do with the birth and uh, genetic stuff. And I know it, it took away from John Carpenter's The Shape of the Supernatural. Mm -hmm. But I was intrigued by it. So I'm happy that they're looking to do maybe not exactly that, but they're looking to kind of explain it, maybe. I don't know. It but it was a creepy image. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they got some good creepy images. And that's what you need for a horror movie. Yeah. And hopefully it sticks to form and that music comes in when it's supposed to. Right. Anyway. Um with Justin at the Drunken Monk. Have a good night, folks. We uh, fucked up the beginning of this, so 
we'll say it at the end. Join us next time. Take care, everybody.